Thing. Me too. I'm super hungry. Nice. All right. I'm going to chop up this onion as fast as I can, friend. Um, while we're, while I'm rather uh, doing my kitchen prep, um, I think that's maybe a good time to ask you five questions because I don't think I did okay. this on your last episode. I don't remember. Maybe. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I love, I, I love answering questions. So let's do okay. this. First question. What is the worst meal to eat on a first date? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Hmm. I would say probably anything with too much garlic. So many garlic fries, maybe probably not a good idea. Okay. Uh, I mean, on the, on the first date. Yeah. I would say I'm not going to go with garlic fries. And then I, I eat very sloppily. So like, uh, I, I love like, like pho and like ramen, but it gets all over my clothes. So that probably would be a good first date for me either. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the last time I had pho, uh, I was wearing a shirt this color and I had redecorated my shirt and it was right yeah. before the set. So. <laughs> oh no. Yep. Live and learn. That's how, that's how life works, right? <laughs> exactly. But no one knew in the audience that the shirt wasn't supposed to look like that. Hey, there you go. Exactly. Okay. No, no. All yeah, right. Just... <laughs> so that's question number one. Uh, number two. What is your favorite late night snack? You know, usually I eat a lot of popcorn, actually. And so when, when I'm when I'm home uh, in Oakland, I I, like, I pop it. My whole life do like the pop popcorn kernels. Uh, I use like sesame seed oil and a little butter, yeah. salt, stuff like that. But yeah, I, I love popcorn. I don't know why that's just something I go to. I guess it's easy to like watch a movie and you know, like run for you KO. It's like easy to you know chop, watch, watch watch some Seinfeld or something. Eat some popcorn is great. Oh yeah, popcorn is the best. I had a big bag of it last night. At uh, the time that we're recording this, I saw Oppenheimer last night. Oh yeah, yeah. And I googled this morning. Uh, do people have Oppenheimer related depression? Because I've been really blue since yesterday. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. <laughs> and uh, it seems to be a thing because it's a very intense movie. So I have to say, I was so grateful I knew you were coming by the kitchen today because you are a bucket of joy, and I'm like, I need some light <laughs> after that no. movie. <laughs> uh, okay, number three. Question number three. Uh, what is a dish that just takes you right back to childhood? Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So my mom, growing up, my mom used to make this dish. I don't know if it has a name, but she would make it. It, it had sausage and like bell peppers and potatoes and onions. And she would just fry it all together. And it was just like, it was delicious. Like the, the, the potatoes would come out all crispy and stuff. And I don't really see that at restaurants, but uh, it was when I go back home to visit my mom's side, I'll have her make it. You know, I'm like, mom, yeah. can you make that? Because like, it just reminds me of being a kid, watching cartoons. And that was like my favorite dinner. It was great. Yeah. I love that. That sounds like a good like breakfast mashup or something. Yeah. It yeah. was super cool. Yeah. I like I should, I should make it myself one day. It's not making my mom make it for me. I should just make it myself one day. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> question number four. Uh, I think my weirdest question, uh, just because people okay. expect me to say something else, but Eric, <laughs> yes. Eric, is a hamburger a sandwich? Oh, man. I knew this was going to come up. I knew it. Oh, man. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of followers on this one, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes. A hamburger is a sandwich. It's, it's like a hot sandwich, basically. That's how I look at it. Yeah, it's bread yeah. eaten bread. Yeah, and so I'm like I love my favorite things about hot hamburger. I like like putting like you know tomatoes and pickles and all the stuff I would put on a sandwich. I put on my yeah. burger. So it's you know to me it's the same thing. Yeah. They, they gotta relax and enjoy their sandwiches however they like to. That's what they gotta do. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And finally, question number five. If Ben and Jerry were to knock on the door of your Airbnb and say, hey, Eric, we're going to name an ice cream after you, <laughs> what would they call it? Oh, what, man. what on earth would be in your perfect <laughs> ice cream? Wow, that's a good question. Hmm. So I used to I used to write uh, quotes and I would sign them as chocolate Jesus. So I guess it would be like, it'd be, a, it'd be like, kind of like, I guess, a, 
I guess it would be like a ch- some kind of like chocolate mixed with wine, I guess. He turned water into wine, right? So something like that, like a wine and chocolate type of ice cream flavor would be great for Chocolate Jesus. That'd be amazing. You know what? I, I feel like pitching that to them like today, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send them this clip right now. <laughs> and get, get, who was the band? Depeche Mode, get them to make a song. Oh, for- yeah. <laughs> Personal Jesus. That would be great. Yeah. Personal <laughs> Jesus with the boss of chocolate Jesus. Yeah. If you come in a boss, like a boss of wine, uh, that'd be fit. Oh, my good dude. This is selling itself, Kelly. This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What would your flavor be? What would your ingredients be? I would also go with a boozy ice cream. I have to say, I would, I would do something with like uh, bourbon and caramel and cinnamon Uh, and a good vanilla. Um, and uh, the title of my comedy album is "Sugar and Spice and Smirnoff Ice," so I'd (laughs) go with something like that. (laughs) <laughs> That's great. I need to listen to that. Where, where can I listen to it at? You can find it wherever you get your quality comedy albums. Bandcamp, Apple, Spotify, whatever. Sweet.